What's up guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Scavenger, and uh, yeah, basically just got off my streams. Wanna thank everybody for taking the time of their day to actually watch me out stream for around um, four hours. So it's really nice and very nice to see all of you being there, and I had a lot of good battles. So with that in mind, this was definitely one of the more I guess you're the funnier one because me and Caddy really we had prepared for a battle in the lower tiers, he just had a team ready, so Throughout the three was basically waiting for him to be ready, and uh, he finally pulled it off. And uh, yeah, basically he had a very very terrifying feat, a very potent one in this tier. So looking back here at it, you know he got the Mega Glalie, Drogoli of course, right superior, uh, superior poke truly, uh, Gen Mega Jellicent, very potent, and Golbat of course, extremely Wally. And um, yeah, I was basically trying to do my best here and void him off. This is a very strong Aryu team, and uh, I have very, very few entries to cope with this properly. I myself is using Helisk, Tropius, Caracosta, Rhyperior, Kadabra, and... Uh, ooh, Kubalion, if I remember correctly. <laughs> just slipped my mind. So anyway, I actually have Focus Band instead of Sash on my Kadabra. So it is a um, banned item, so I'm glad it didn't matter this time. Uh, and I actually will go down with my Kadabra. I'm going to just say that right off the bat in case people are wondering why I'm going down like that. But I'm very glad that was the case because it is a bad item after all. And it was going to be as fair battle as possible. So having that not matter is definitely a load off my shoulder. And other than that, I am basically going to start off with Heal List because I can cope with anything on his team from the first turn. And um, yeah, I have no idea what he will start off with. Every folk he has... Is very very potent. I was definitely hoping for a gold bass because it's the easiest way to cope with. So with that in mind, let's go. So we am very lucky here to get going. He's gonna start with the gold bath, but that's the issue though. I can't really go for a ball speed because I know he has the right period. So I decided to actually go for surf because I really felt that that might be my best bet actually. And uh, yeah, straight off the bat, just go for surf. He does an excellent play here and go to Dragology, which actually you know, walls both the Surf and my stab, of course, of the um, Volt Switch. And even if I've gone from Hyper Voice, my strength would not have been enough to uh, wield it down to, uh, to its KO. So, yeah, I was basically forced to switch out. And if I went for that, I would have, if I went for a Hyper Voice, it still would be safely switching to Jellicent and wall me out. So, here's the situation I'm talking about. I was definitely hoping for me having Focus Band, of course, a Focus Sash. And we'll take that and retaliate, but I had focus banned and I'm glad I went down like that. So anyway, that means I can bring my Desultroya, the Rhyperior, the strength, the evilest of them all, really. And just go into Gobo Rock Blast, because EQ is not worth it. It really isn't, because he has the gold bat. So I do the correct play here and go for Rock Blast, like I said. And uh, it is a choice ban at Rock Slide. So even though he just live here and I do predict them. Um, the roots, I still can go for the EQ, so I'm just gonna keep going at it. Uh, he is in no position to have even wall me out here. I have the superior strength. You can always hope for a miss of 90%, but Caddy really feel that, you know, it is, you know, one of the tougher situation, and he has no means of actually coping with this. Right, Pierre's hard countering Golbat right now. So he does the correct play, go for a Super Fang, and whittle my right Pierre down to wire, and I really believe that that was a very, very good play from him. A Toxic would have been a good play too, but it was definitely walled me out there. And he's gonna bring, if I remember correctly, the Jellicent. And uh, I was actually predicting him to go for a Will-O-Wisp here, because it's a much better place to shut me down. So I definitely did the right prediction here and went to my heal risk. And um, basically this time I'm gonna go for the Volt Switch, because I feel that he probably feels... Um, that uh, I could still go for a Surf Predict him, and that would be an awful play if that were to happen, because Rhyperior right is very crucial for this battle for him, uh, like me, of course. So I go for the Volt Switch, and uh, I basically thought Drogoli is kinda, kinda slow, so I do get the free switch into my Rhyperior. I was sure Rhyperior right is going to outspeed, speed, so... Yeah... It doesn't, and uh, it's actually going to matter a bit here, because it's gonna force me to play even more aggressive, or rather, I'm getting out of options. That is my second poke going down. He still have a complete team, 
and if this complete team is coarse enough to take me on, I have very little to respond to him, so I'm gonna hope for him to switch out here, so I'm very lucky with that, I decided to go for a shell smash, hoping for that, uh, because he's locked in to surf after all, and um, yeah, one shell smash is just what I really can do, now I need to attack this Yellicent and hope that a knockoff is enough to take it out. And yeah, yes, luckily for me, this knockoff will annihilate this Yellicent, and that is just so important that it does, because that means that my sturdy is still intact, and he's gonna bring the young Mega. I predict him to go for a protect to try to get his um, uh, speed boost going, so I decided to go for another shell smash, feeling very, very comfortable here. And after this, I'm gonna hope for him to try to attack me, and he's gonna retaliate with Rock Slide, but. He will actually go for double protect and by default now actually manage to get that protect off and with that is now faster than me and there is no reason for me to go for another um, what's it called shell smash because I won't outspeed it I won't outspeed it naturally now so it goes for Giga Drain and uh, I'm bringing down to my sturdy and uh, my weakness policy kicks in so now I have a <laughs> basically triple the attack and triple the special attack if that even is gonna be utilized which is isn't and he's gonna show me the life orb and the rock slide doesn't miss and uh, yeah four times effective is um, there's no going around that that is going down so anyway he got his glalie here and I was really really scared I didn't want to showcase that I got awkward yet through John Mega so he's gonna Mega Ball going for that eye shot so I'm basically here Hoping and begging to the higher guards, you know, damn it, make this Aqua Jet matter. I know Glalie get defensive, but damn, I must be able to take it out. There is, if I don't take it out now, I'm going to lose. There's no way in hell that I'm going to make a comeback after this. This is my key play. This is down to this very moment, and it is enough. It is enough. Glalie is going down, and he only got two Pokemon left, both Drogology and Rhyperior. And his choices is limited, and this is basically a Caracosta sweep. So yeah, Jeff, the Caracosta coming through, and really, really taking back the battle, which was pretty much a battle that I would have lost, you know, <laughs> considering the circumstances, it really went to a battle in my favor, and I really want to thank Caddy for this battle. Caddy is, like I said, one of those people that I, I respect a lot, he's a very, very good battler, and I was just really lucky to actually win this battle, because I think he did all the correct, correct plays, I really really do that. Doing the double protect, you know, go for Giga Drain, that was definitely not the right place. I'm not gonna lie about that at all actually, I think he played very good here. Plus, another key moment that really made this battle was that the knockoff actually killed the Jellicent. Had the Jellicent, you know, survived with a slit of health, which could have been very possible, uh, and gone for the will o -Wisp, then that would basically destroy my sturdy and uh, my shell smash would not have mattered in the future and uh, basically they would have stopped my game through and through and um, Yon Mega will definitely have swept me from that because I have no real response for that I had Tropius and I know it can't deal with it so the only reason I won is because of the little little details that did happen and uh, basically Caracosta is awesome, I'm glad to see it working uh, <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna pull this through, so Caddy, like I said, thank you for this battle, and um, like I said you guys, don't go and rip on him, because he has defeated me before, and uh, he done that, you know, without any issue whatsoever, so, and it was close to doing it this time too, so um, I have a huge respect for this guy, I really have. So, anyway guys, I, re I really wanna thank you guys, of course, for watching, and like I said, I wanna thank the guys on stream for you know, being supportive and being there and helping out. And uh, yeah, if you like this battle, of course, don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new to this channel, you know, don't forget to subscribe because it is a very, very nice place. I promise you. So, guys, remember, the sky is the limit. So have a good day, guys, and take care. Bye.